In the last video, we looked at the pressure switch and the limit switches and how they could interrupt the sequence of operation of this integrated furnace control. Now, we're going to go a little bit farther with this one. And we're going to say, well, the pressure switch was open, but it didn't close. And let's see what the uh, reaction of this thing is if for some reason the pressure switch did not close. Okay, in this one, I'm going to go ahead and pull the hose. Okay, I pulled the hose off the pressure switch. Now that's going to imitate that this thing is not going to light off because the inducer didn't start. Here's your inducer here, and uh, in order for this furnace to light, the inducer has to prove that it's pulling a vacuum on the heat exchanger. So let's start this thing off and see what happens. Now here we're starting out with a normal slow blink and we're going to call for heat. We got fast blink. Now you notice it didn't, uh, it only took what, five or six seconds. If it didn't make that pressure switch in five or six seconds, then it's going to go out on a pressure switch problem. Now if the pressure switch is stuck closed like the first video, then it wouldn't allow it to turn on the inducer at all. But if the pressure switch didn't close, the inducer stays on and it starts blinking a code. Now, it's going to keep that inducer on for a while, and we're just going to kind of let this thing time out because it's eventually going to shut itself off because it's essentially given up on the pressure switch ever making. Okay, it just gave up. Now, that's one of the things about these kind of controls that they can sense when something's wrong and it's not going to fix itself so they just shut down. Now at this point I'm going to tell you one other thing about these controls. If for some reason this control safety's out, now it's going to try again it's going to wait a while and then it's going to try again. On the pressure switch, it'll just wait. It's What it's trying to do here is it's saying, well, maybe I had a problem, a bird was sitting on the vent. I doubt that's going to be the problem, but, uh, but there was something in the vent. Let's try again and see if whatever was in the vent is gone. So that's one of the things about these types of controls is they don't just shut off and stay off. They'll actually keep trying to get the furnace to operate. Now this is going to do the same thing it did before and it's going to give up pretty quick. Okay, now it's given up. Okay, here it's trying again. Okay, this thing's going to try doing this about three times. Then it's going to lock out for one hour. And it's going to try again. So that's how the sequence works in the case that the pressure switch does not make. 